A blessed day to everyone. Here I am again, Sister Boba Terpelo, and today is August 28, 2022. Uh, now we're going to study about how to abide in Jesus. According to uh, John chapter 15, verse 6, If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. If I were to ask you to make a list of a hundred things you need to do to please the Lord today, you could do it, couldn't you? In fact, you probably have so many spiritual do's and don'ts cluttering up your mind that you'd hardly know where to start. But you can relax. I'm not going to suggest you make a list of them. Instead, I'm going to help you simplify things by giving you only one. Abide in Jesus. The one thing you're truly responsible for is your union with Him. If you keep your union and fellowship with Him intact, everything else will be taken care of. But Gloria, I'm facing some big problems right now. My life's turned upside down. I'm so rushed, I don't know whether I'm coming or going. I don't have time to fellowship with the Lord today. That's when you need to do it the most. You need to maintain your union with the Lord, particularly when the storms of life come. I know that that's often not easy to do. Whether the storm is a sickness in your body or financial problem, problems or family strife, the temptation will be to settle your attention and your mind in that problem. You won't even want to think about anything else. That's what the devil planned on. That's the reason he sent the, that storm in the first place. To distract you from fellowshipping with God. To draw your at attention away from your union with Him. Don't fall into the devil's trap. Instead, keep your thoughts and affections trained on the Lord. As you do that, the force of faith will begin to flow out of you. And that flow will ripple every form of darkness. It will bring you in triumph through every storm. Fellowship with Jesus today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your word today that gives us the strength to go on, to go on fellowshipping with you, because you said in your word that this uh, abiding in you means fellowshipping with you is our strength. The moment that we fellowship with you every day, we, f we feed our spiritual uh, life, to make us strong that no matter what problems that may arise in the future we are ready to face that storm because we know that we have your word and your promises in our hearts that we will not easily be shaken because we know that your words your promises are true these are the things that will strengthen our faith in you father Thank you, Lord Jesus, for being so good to us. Thank you for your word that continues to strengthen us every day. So that is why, friends, always have fellowship with our Lord Jesus. Every moment that we come to Him, every time that we come to Him, we are strengthened in our faith in Him. And we will not be afraid of any storm that will come our way because we know 
that the Lord who is with us is our strength. Good morning, a blessed day to everyone. And may each one of us be encouraged once again. And to God be the glory. A blessed uh, morning to everyone. Thank you and God bless. A blessed day to everyone. Today is August 29, 2022. And again, I'm Sister Boba Terpello. I would like to encourage you once again through God's word. And today we're going to talk about you hold the key. Uh, it says in Matthew chapter 16 verse 19, I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Uh, let me read the devotion today. The Greek the Greek text of the, that scripture would literally read, I give you the keys of the kingdom. Whatever you declare locked on earth is locked in heaven. And whatever you declare unlocked on earth is unlocked in the heavenlies. The heaven Jesus was talking about there isn't the heaven where God resides. He was talking about the battle zone, about the heaven, where Satan's forces are operating. He was telling us that God has given us power to bind the wicked spirits in heavenly places and to lose the angelic powers of God to work in our behalf. Philippians 2 verses 9 to 10 says, Wherefore, God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. Where? In heaven. In earth and under the earth that covers it all as believers we have total authority over the powers of satan we can take authority over the evil spirits that are trying to destroy our this nation we can take authority over them in the name of jesus and pull down their strongholds it's time we began to realize how important we are to world affairs. Since the day Jesus gave us the Great Commission, the life or death of the world has been in the hands of the church. We are the ones who have the mighty name of Jesus and the awesome strength of the gospel is the gospel to bring life and abundance to every Creature. We are the ones whose prayers can change every office of authority in this land. It is up to you and to me to begin to intercede right now and use the power of God. Use the power God has given us. We may come from different lands with different backgrounds, but we all have one thing in common. Jesus Christ is our Lord. And that alone is enough to alter the spiritual complexion of this earth. For further reading, you can find it in Acts chapter 4 verses 1 to 14. So the Lord has been telling us that we have the key, we hold the key. Whatever we bind in here on earth will be bound in heaven. So there are things that we uh, have uh, because the authority of the, the Lord has been given unto us. The moment that we receive Jesus in our hearts, He has given us the authority to destroy the works, the forces of darkness. 
and we need to use that authority here in this world if we see that the things happening around us is no longer um, good and we need to pray and intercede we can use the name of Jesus to destroy the forces of darkness to destroy the works of the enemy whatever we say whatever we decree and declare here on earth will be bound in heaven so there is power in what we speak there is power in what we utter so start declaring good things in this nation the nation where you belong to start claiming the territory for God's glory because the, the, the prince of this world, which is Satan, has no right to destroy what the Lord has given to his creation. So remember, we, have the, we were given the authority to trample the snakes and the scorpions. So use that authority as children of God. Again, good morning and to God be the glory. Have a blessed day, everyone.